Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and hard disk drive assembly. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the larger USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the larger USB board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the smaller USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the smaller USB board ribbon cable from the USB board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the power button board ZIF connector and disconnect the power button board ribbon cable from the USB board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Lift the USB board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Place the USB board in a static dissipative bag. Replacement Remove the USB board from the static dissipative bag. Place the USB board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Insert the power button board ribbon cable into the power button board ZIF connector on the USB board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the smaller USB board ribbon cable into the smaller USB board ZIF connector on the USB board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the larger USB board ribbon cable into the larger USB board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable.